guys, it's me, Meteor, here we're going to be doing Stage 7 EX of Kirby Triple Lux. You might notice I still have my leaf from last time. That's because I'm actually recording this right after I recorded my last one. The reason being that tomorrow, after I post this, I need to prepare for an interview, so uh, I'd rather not waste my time with Kirby when I need to be preparing for that. A little bit more important! Anyway, aside from that, let's go ahead and begin Stage 7 EX. Ah, uh, that little kind remixing we had back. This was actually used from water level in Return to Dreamland. But either way, I actually need to... Eh, we can just bust through those leaves like that. I could have also used the uh, circus there to actually use the fire. But nope, that's not how I roll. Sorry. We. I just, I just love this ability. It's awesome. Fun. Oh, leaf guard. Aha. Uh -huh. Leaf guard. Ah, uh, but oh, too late. So it's like so so broken. We just like you could have dodged anything that way. It's pretty pretty nice. Anyway, of course, just want to actually avoid these at all costs. Doesn't really matter. Jump over them. I'm not gonna try to even. I'm not gonna use the leaf guard here. Anyone can do that. Anyway. Nope. Ah, I'm messing up anyway. No big deal. Is there anything over here to the right? Ah, so there is. There's actually hammer, which I would actually prefer. The reason why is because we're going to be going underwater soon. So that's going to be a useful ability underwater. Spoilers. I just love the way Kirby works underwater. So, you die. Everything that comes in Kirby's way will officially die. Like you, unfortunately for you. You die. You're not gonna die because you're impossible to kill. There should be a boss like you. I mean, you'd be impossible to destroy. Well, <laughs> actually, anyway. Wait for it. Die. That's not just do anything I know, but still. Ah, uh, no, my hammer. No. Oh, uh, well, fine. Everyone who didn't die will still live. Doesn't like there's anyone actually left. Oh, well. Kill the one I needed to, I guess. Cool, we have one of these little puzzle things. Nice, these are always fun. Let's see, I practiced up for this a couple times because some of these are really confusing. Let's see if I actually fall for them this time. That's in the background there. Fall back there. Grab this. That's in the background. This is invisible floor. That's not, floor's not actually there. That wall's not actually there. Grab that meat. Of course, spikes are on the floor. Hidden platforms not actually not actually there. You can actually duck down this one. There's the Gordo's actually there in the foreground. You get a mini at at <laughs> I forgot that floor wasn't there. Alright, so that don't else kill me actually. I always fall for that one too. Like I'm like, oh I was gonna go grab it. Then you look think about looking at the foreground. Anyway, background rather. Let's continue out of here. Now you could also duck down here, in which case, there's a little exit there, we can exit out of it. I'm not going to be going that way yet, because I'm going to show up what's over up there, because that just leads exit out of there. So we continue past this, go through here, you get that switch, head up, you can kill him, and then over there to the right in this chest is just a one-up, but hey, whatever, what can you do? One-ups are always nice if you're somehow running out of one-ups like crazy. I think I played. I think I played through the game one whole time one time, and I think it got like maybe 47 lives racked up or something like that. I played this game a couple times actually, because this game is awesome. Anyway, run, run quickly. I'm serious. Like this is pretty much you want to actually race those keys there to the bottom. Nope. Come on. Run, run, Kirby. You die. Alright, come on. Kick! Kick! Come on! Aha! Got it. Just in time. Well, not really just in time, but you notice there are three doors. If you don't actually catch up for all three keys at the same time, you cannot get that very keychain over there to the right. Let's get that door. And then we finally wait for this key. 
And voila, we get our very key team to the stage. Get these stars down there, grab our food, and we are back to full health again. Yippee! Hey look, there's Circus in case we need it. And there's nothing but another star up there. And uh, you kind of tie me in a corner here, can't really do much about that. I have to jump through hoops to get through this level. <laughs> uh, Alright. Anyway. I don't think there's anything down here, is there? Nope, just a pit. Just de just death. That's all that's down there is death. Uh, Spark, I would like to grab right now, but it would be completely pointless because it has no actual relevance to this part at all whatsoever. So there's really no point. Now what you want to do, I, you could have got that fire there would make things easier, but I'm going to try doing it through a circus. Why not? If you go inside this door, you will see a little puzzle. Now, it may be like, hey, look, I could go ahead and light, light these two, and then I could actually use that little that little straight one to hit the one on the side. Up, oh, no, you can't because it won't reach. So what you want to do is go ahead and line it up to the center there. Push that over to the... S oh, wait, I messed up. Crap, I messed it up myself. I'll try it again. Push it over to the center here push it over to this one then you actually want to take it over here push it all the way over to the right get inside the cannon wait for it and blast off we have our first sunstone of the stage right there so there you go all right so we got the very keychain and we got the sunstone making good progress like always wait I, for, for a second there, I was trying to act as if the foreground was like the real one again, kind of like these little mirror puzzles. That kind of catches me off guard sometimes when I see stuff like that. But, what can you do? Especially when it's in the same level as one of those puzzles. Okay, fine, don't care, I lost Circus. Don't care. Just got a little keychain there. I'm gonna grab Needle! Yay! That's completely useless right now in this particular section. Alright, there we go. We You know what's coming up? We're coming up against a mini boss! Another DX mini boss. Which one will it be this time? We're gonna find out. In case you don't already have a pet brew, there's another one for ya. Why not? You know what? I'm somewhat in low health, so I'll go ahead and grab that one. By low health, I mean slightly, slightly sliver less health than I would have had it full. But hey, anything helps, I guess. This mini boss is going to be Bonkers DX. Still, nothing really all too threatening. I right, hit him twice right there. Eventually, he'll start throwing out these this way, like a little tornado. And now he's uh, almost at half health. Almost, but not quite. He has a little spin in and out kind of attack. That's his That's his thing. You'll see a lot of the spinning in and out or moving in and out of the actual screen attacks from a lot of these mini-bosses. It's like they can't really think of any other type of new move to give. So they're like, yeah, just make it go in the foreground and back. Why not? Let's just, let's just do that. Ah. I was hoping I could possibly judge that properly, but I didn't. Oh, I, what, I actually inhaled that? <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I thought I missed entirely. Oh well, I got hammer, so that's that's something. Here you'll get food, you'll get food, and of course, our last sunstone of the stage. So alright, we got everything we needed to in this level. Let's exit out, go in the goal game, and actually head over to the boss. Yeah, swim into the goal post. Let's see if we get a one. Perfect. Quite literally perfect. Gotta love it. I hammered that cannon level. Ha. Uh. Yay. So let's see if we get 30 stars. We get a max potato which we didn't need. And another keychain. So let's see what we got here. We have Mr. Frosty from Nightmare in Dreamland. We have Mirror Kirby. Oh, Mirror Kirby. Why can't we see you again? Really, I mean, honestly, I'd love to. Boss Butch from Dreamland 3. If I could actually do the that, 
bleh. If I could actually do a true arena of this game with no abilities, I have no excuse to go back and actually do these. I have no excuse. Anyway, we have Balloon Kirby from Canvas Curse. We have Stone Kirby from Canvas Curse, and I guess that's it. Alright, so now that we actually cleared off all the stages and got all the Sunstones, let's go ahead and face the boss. Gotta hear that menacing music. No hammer! Don't need no hammer. You're not gonna give me a maximum tomato this time? What a cheap jerk. You always give me a maximum tomato, but not this time. Fine. I guess I need a precious street pass to get a maximum tomato or something like that. Fine. Be that way. Ooh, this is a kind of cool looking temple here. Kind of nice. What's Termanza doing this time? Is that a Steelix or an Onyx? Looks like a Steelix to me. Alright, here we have Coily Rattler. His description says, A giant snake statue revered by the people of the sky since the dawn of time. Its body lies sheathed in celestial golden armor. But the old texts say that its head lacks protection. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin this fight. He starts off throwing like little those at you. Know, so you notice his body doesn't take any damage, but his head does. So his head is his weakness. Don't hit anything else besides his head, because you will not do anything to it. I thought you could do it all day and it will not do a single scratch. will not even dent the surface. I guess you won't even scratch the surface of this boss fight. <laughs> oh. uh, anyway. Man, I'm just, I'm just full of them today, I guess. He has that attack, which is actually the easiest to dodge out of all the ones he has. All I have to do is just float above, and that's it. I kind of messed that one up. I could have actually hit him twice, but I messed up. Whatever. I'm gonna slither against the ground. Eventually, see him in the background do all kinds of different things. Like in this case, he shoots off three of these. You can inhale them both in that way. And we got two hits. That's how you do it. And now he is at to his second phase. Phase two. We're making pretty good progress on this guy, I think. That attack's also pretty easy to dodge. This one is a bit harder to dodge. He's actually going to go into separate pieces and then fly at you from the, from the screen. So just be careful. The last one actually drops some stars you can hit him with. And then he reassembles himself that way. And then there's this attack, which actually goes up and down, just duck, just crawl underneath it when it actually reaches the top. Now this attack is, if you don't dodge this attack, ah, almost just dodged it. If you don't dodge that attack, he will grab you and do like half of your health damage. He, that, that attack is powerful. You do not want to get grabbed by it by any circumstance at all. You don't really want to get hit in general in any, any circumstance, but especially that attack if you do get hit by anything. Alright, you're gonna give me one last attack, I see here, before you're pretty much dead. Which one is it gonna be? Ah, it's gonna be this attack. Alright, I'll, I'll just float up here. You could inhale those, but that gets a little risky. Alright, gonna go ahead and slam into me? Don't think so. Oh yeah. It's gonna freeze up back to its statue form and explode! That was a pretty powerful death. Let's go ahead and grab the Grand Sunstone! Do your victory dance. As Kirby lifts the giant sandstone above his head, the green dream stalk grows ever larger and opens up a new path for us to explore. What wonders and adventures will we face in the new world? The new place? We shall see. Hi. 
The dream stock has grown. You can now proceed to the fifth floating island. This place is where crap gets real. What am I talking about? <laughs> You'll see, but either way, next I'll be tackling level 5 endless explosions. Let's go ahead and see you next time.